Hello everyone. Today we are at the day 24th class of conditional statements and operators. These conditional statements are used to filter the data. Okay. And these conditional statements mainly works based on the operators. Okay. We have two types of conditional statements which is where and if and mainly which these conditional statements mainly works based on the operators okay and these operators are of again three types arithmetic operators conditional operators logical operators okay so what are these arithmetic operators we have addition subtraction multiplication division and exponentiation what is this exponentiation this is nothing but power of any number okay and we have another one is conditional operators in this conditional operators we have equals and equal for not equal to we have caps equal to and proportional equal to this uh, equal to came here by mistake and here greater than we have here greater than and less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to and logical some of the logical operators are and and or and and for all we have these symbols like um, straight line or exclamation okay these are the symbols for or and the other logical operators are in like is and between this conditional operators and logical operators and arithmetic operators we use to filter the data okay so let's see an example for this conditional operators and arithmetic operators um, first see an example for arithmetic operators now I want to create a data set Mm. for sas help dot class here I have a I'm creating a data sas help dot class from the sas help library see this is the class data set here I have name sex age height weight okay now by using conditional operators I want to make changes to this data set first I want to add um, what is the first oper automatic operator is the plus right that is addition so for example now I want to add add some number to this age values okay um, for that what I will do is I will take the same data set see now here for the age I want to add 5 so you can give it directly or you can create a new variable maybe I will create age add as a new variable to see the difference okay so now I will give I want to add 10 10 to the original age values so I just give a variable name here age plus 10 or whatever the name that you whatever the number that you want to give how much you want to add you can give it there okay now execute the program see now age add variable got created here See earlier I used to have 14 in the new variable I have increased that to 10 okay it, so now it is 24 like that we can add the age okay not only age you can apply it to anything um, that you want to create okay now I want to see next example is I want to create another variable with age sum sorry um, subtraction so for subtraction what we have I will give age minus 10 okay minus is the symbol for subtraction so now, now I want to decrease the minus 10 from the age values how can I do that execute the program
see now I have created age subtraction variable also see now I have the original values is 14 age age value is 14 here now in the age subtraction I got 10 minus that means 4 I got okay like this you can subtract and what is the another when in the automatic operation that is division so how can I do that I will give create another variable called age division age by um, maybe I want to sub, um, divide with 10 only okay now execute the program now I have created another new variable called age underscore div see now it subtracted sorry it divided this 14 with 10 now my value is 1.4 okay like this we can apply arithmetic operations and the last one and the other one we have is multiplication I can give it with this like this so what is the symbol for multiplication star okay I want to multiply the age value with 10 okay see now showing syntax error okay I have forgot the semicolon here okay now execute the program see now it created another new variable called age underscore mult so it multiplied with 10 with the age variables see I got 14 into 10 is 140 okay and with another last arithmetic operator is exponentiation exponentiation is nothing but power of okay expo equal to age in for the exponentiation symbol is two stars okay so I want to give any age variable square or you can give cube okay I want to do square okay now execute the program again semicolon here see now I have created age expo so what is the um, 14 square I think it's 200 and sorry age square is sorry 14 square is 196 okay so like this we can create the arithmetic operators we can make changes to our data by using arithmetic operators okay um, let me print this and show you so I equal to text yeah. See, by using arithmetic operations I have changed the age variable names first I have added 10 to the age variable then I have subtracted to the original age variable and I have used the division example and then multiplication and then exponential okay this is how we can use the arithmetic operators to make changes to your data okay the next one is the conditional operators okay what is the conditional operators we have what are those see we have equal to not equal to greater than less, or less than okay let's see this with an example okay see for example by using the conditional statement what are the conditional statements I have told you earlier 
we have two conditional statements one is where statement and the other one is if statement now i want to by using where statement i want to filter the data okay so basically this where statement is used to subset the data and by using this where statement um by we can uh, use it in both data and the proc steps and by using this conditional op statement new variables can't be created or existing observations can't be deleted okay we can only filter the data by using con conditional statement where okay we cannot create new data new variables or we cannot delete any data okay so now i want to filter the data see i'm taking the same example so now i want to use the where statement here by using where statement i want to filter only for the male variables see here i have the sex male female right m and f so i want to filter for only male okay how can i do that sex equal to in the quotations give m okay now execute the program see now i got only male variables instead of both male and female okay now for example i want to i want to get only the male variables who are greater than 14 years of old okay that means i will get only 15 and 16 age okay i have three of them okay can i for that so as i want both male and only the age who are greater than 14 for that first give as i need both the variables give now operator end okay now we are using the conditional operator here which is and logic sorry logical operator so we are using logical operator here see here what it is saying for and logical operator we use that for the where expression okay logical and okay now so what i want now age who is greater than 14 right now execute the program see now i got only the persons who are 14 years more than 14 years age and those and only the male persons i got okay hmm. so now for example i want both now i want um male who are greater than 14 years of age and also i want female also i want female see for that i want female who are greater than 12 years of age how can i give that give first keep this in the parenthesis the first variables keep it in the parenthesis and in between now keep the female values that you wanted also in the parenthesis okay so what are the values that you want i want sex equal to in the quotations f to get the female values and also i want age who are greater than 12 years okay now in between these give the conditional operator which is the which conditional operator or okay now execute the program see now i got both male and female values male values are who are greater than 40 14 years of age and female values that i got are who are greater than 12 years of age okay this is how we can filter the filter data by using conditional operators see now i want uh, only um, age 11 14 and 16 only these people i want to be filtered 
how can I do that? I'm taking the same data to filter for only specific age give where age equal to 11 or age equal to sorry here 11 and age equal to 14 or age equal to 16 now I want I want to filter for the persons only who are age of 11 14 and 16 but I didn't mention male or female so I will get both the male and female values who are age 11 14 and 16 okay so execute the program see now I got both male and female values who are age of 11 14 and 16 okay you can also write it like this instead of writing it like this you can also give it like this see where by using in okay by using in operator in is also a logical operator by using in operator you can give it like this you if you want only 11 14 and 16 so to get the only persons who are age 14 16 and 11 mention the age here that's what i want right from this age variable i want to filter for both male and female who are 14 11 and 16 age okay now execute the program see now i got only male female so this is another way of filtering the data by using the where and logical operators you can mention it like this or you can use the in operator okay see for example i don't want this persons instead of i don't want 14 11 and 16 years of age people i want remaining people for that how can i give it give not in okay now execute the program I want to get only the people who are not 14, 6, 11 and 16. See now I got the persons who are not 14, 16 and 11 age. Okay. This is how we can use in and not in logical operators. next one is the like operator okay so in this like operator we have we use hyphen hyphen is nothing but it counts for the characters if i give one hyphen it counts for one character if i give two or three or four it depends on how many hyphens i am giving and percentage also is the another one which is irrespective of how many percentages it will return the value okay this hyphen and percentage used to get the same pattern data okay see for example to get all names starting with a so now from this class data set i want to get the person names whose name starts with a okay i'm taking the same example for that give so i'm using a where statement name from the name variable i want like so to extract the same data okay like in the quotations i'm giving a percentage so here the a mentions that to get all names with a and the percentage mentions that it doesn't matter how many characters that particular variable have okay that means irrespective of how many characters it will return the value okay 
now execute the program see i have only alfred and alice starting with a okay let's see an another example for this now i want to get the n number of characters okay like i i want to get only the persons whose name is having five characters only how can i get that to get only the persons who are whose name is only five letters or five characters for that give where name like okay in the quotations give five hyphens to get the five characters names sorry five hy it's not five hyphens five underscores underscore one underscore two underscore three four five okay i'm giving here five underscores okay so five underscores means that count for the characters for five letter names give five underscores if you want to get 10 letter name then give 10 underscores okay see now execute the program now it filters for whose name is having five characters okay so like this we can so basically it uh, got the data for whose name is having five characters or less only it didn't give the data for five characters or more okay what if I give if I add another underscore see now I got the names for whose name is more only six characters or less than that see I got six characters five characters four characters okay like this we can extract the data and for example see now i want to get um only i want to get um see like let me take an example for that i want to give it like this i want to get the name like first three characters it doesn't matter any it can start with any characters first three characters and the the fourth character should be you okay and after that how many characters any it can contain any number of characters for that what we will give we will give percentage sign okay see now I want the names whose first three letters are can be anything but the fourth letter has to be only u and after that it can contain any number of characters for that i have given percentage now execute the program okay it is case sensitive so give small u now execute the program how many i have given here one two three that means let me run the original program let's check whether it is having the persons whose name see i don't have any name fourth character which is having u so that's why i'm not getting any result over here as except the variable names see i'm getting only the variable names i, I didn't get any observations here that means i don't have any data see there were zero observations read from the data okay that means we don't have any observations whose names have whose name having third character is u see let me take off one underscore now execute the program now you will get see now i have only one person 
whose third character is you okay like this we can filter the data and the other one is I want to get all the names which contains M see for example I am taking the same example copy now it can contain any number of characters in between and after but it should have M in the name so now execute the program now I will get whose name contains M see here James have M Thomas have M and William have M okay taken another example see here I have taken an example so from this data I want to filter for the missing values how can I do that give data test give data test set test where name is missing you can give it like this okay to get the missing data now execute the program now you will get the missing the missing name values see I have got the missing name values and I got age for those missing age name values okay like this we can filter for the missing values you can also give it like this okay like see name is missing here I have given name is missing right or else you can give it like name equal to in the quotations give a space okay that means we are looking for the missing value now execute the program see I got the same result even if I give it like this name equal to or you can give it like name is missing or else if you want to give for numeric data if you have any numeric data for example see for age for age give just dot no need of quotations okay mention that in the just dot no need of quotations for the numeric variable see now execute the program see I got the I got filtered for age missing values now to get the values where age is not missing for that use this symbol proportional okay proportional is the symbol for the proportional and equal is the symbol for not equal to or else you can use cap or ne okay so now execute the program you will get where a age is not equal to missing so that means you will get all the age variables okay for numeric values give name and instead of dot give it in the quotations a space okay now execute the program see now I got whose name values are not missing okay like this we can filter the data so the next one is the if statement okay this if statement is used to subset the data by using this if statement we can create new variables and also can delete the existing data okay let's take an example for the if statement I'm taking the same example class data set from the sas help dot library see now I want to get if x equal to in the quotations m okay see now I want 
see now execute the program so if x equal to m uh, if i give that what i got only the male variables okay if you give f here you will get only the female variables okay like it's the same like in the where statement in the where statement also we have given the same okay and if you want like in the where statement see what we have used here in the where statement first we used if x equal to m and we get h see now i am taking the same thing same condition and i am applying that here okay now i want to get the age who are greater than 14 by using the if statement execute the program i have given m twice okay now execute the program see now i have got filtered for whose age is greater than 14 like it's same like as the where statement but the only difference is we can create or delete the data existing data by using the if statement see for example now i want to delete see now i want to delete by using then statement i want to delete if x equal to m then who is age is 14 then i want to delete the data see now i what i will get i will get only age less than 14 whatever the data after that will be deleted for the male variable see now execute the program see now i got both male and female but more than 14 years of male values got deleted like this you can delete the data by using the if statement okay or you can give see mm, you can also give it like this I'm taking the same example if x equal to m then I want to see here I have deleted the data right now I want to create the data how can i do that by using the same then okay instead of delete i will give here i am creating a new variable here gender equal to male if x equal to m then i want to create a new variable gender equal to m okay also i want to create gender equal to female if sex is m how can i do that else if sex equal to in the quotations f then gender equal to i want to create in the same gender variable in the quotations queue whichever you want to create I want to create female okay so if i have here i have only male and female values for example if i have any other values also so um, for example i have unknown for that what i want to give you can give it like gender equal to if if sex equal to unknown you can give then gender equal to something else like that okay or else, uh, instead of giving all this like if and using then statement you can give it like just else sexy else gender equal to female okay now execute the program see now i have created a 
new variable gender which got um, where sex is m then I got male for the um, sex if the sex is f then I got female why I got only four name four variables here four characters here instead of, uh, why I didn't get printed here for that mention the length statement okay where we usually mention the length statement see here I'm giving length gender it's a character variable then give dollar six dot okay now execute the program now you will be able to print See now I got male, female, everything, everything got printed. Okay, like this you can create the data and you can delete the data in this by using this if statement. Okay. See now I want to create new variables by using if statement. See. How can I do that? I am taking the same example. Now I want to create if sex equal to m then do okay what I want to do gender equal to if sex equal to m then I want to assign all this I want to create all these variables okay I want to create gender variable which is in the quotations give male okay also I want to create order equal to 1 and also I want to create race equal to in the quotations white okay so when all this will be created only when if sex equal to m then do means it will create whatever the statements you give under so i want to create three variables if sex equal to m then i want to create three variables gender order and race okay and you have to give here end end this with an end statement that means n say do group or a selected group so this end statement is used to end a do group or a selected group okay also else if sex equal to female that means m then do i want to create this also then do do what i want to create again another variable gender equal to in the quotation female and order equal to two race equal to this has to be in the quotations sorry uh, numeric values no need to be in the quotations okay and race is Asian and end this do okay Now execute the program. See now I have created order, gender and race variables. Okay. So for order, so what I have given if sex equal to M, then I have created gender equal to male, order equal to 1 and race equal to white. 
for and also I have given if L, else if statement right else if f if x equal to sex equal to f then I have given female so here like earlier I have to use the length statement what is the length statement that used see length gender if you use length statement you will get everything printed see now I got female in full okay like this we can create the new variables okay by using if statements okay this is about where and if statements and conditional operators thank you